Hello, this is Sarah Brosh. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make a video about why you should abandon the Freedom From Religion Foundation because they are morally bankrupt. So, and something happened recently which I found to be very devastating, which I'll tell you about. So I have a very long history, very long, intimate history with the Freedom From Religion Foundation. As I've discussed before, I called them up when I was in law school at Fordham University in New York City, and this was back in 2007 or 2008. And I spent the summer with them in 2008 uh, being their first legal intern and I wrote all of these essays for them and they just loved having me. They have long credited me as being the reason why they have a legal internship program now, as being um, the reason why they have an in-house legal team now. They were always so proud of their affiliation with me. Um, after my brother Jacob committed suicide when I was living in Paris, France, and I had to come back to the U.S. to see my other brother Aaron, that's all I cared about. And then when I was here, I decided to go ahead and apply to well, first master's programs in philosophy. And I lived, I even lived with Annie Laurie Gaylor and Dan Barker, the two co-presidents of the Freedom From Religion Foundation for a time in Madison, Wisconsin. I considered them to be family. I considered them to be my mentors. I considered them, I loved them like family. And I thought they loved me like family. And after the living or napping while black, hate crime hoax happened at Yale um, in the spring of 2018. Initially, Annie Laurie Gaylor and Dan Barker and the Freedom From Religion Foundation, initially they didn't say anything explicitly bad about me publicly, but I know that they took down some of my essays from their website and they did not stand up for me publicly they did not they didn't even do that much really in retrospect for me privately to support me through this nightmare and then I started noticing that a lot of these um, woke intersectional feminists and particularly um, black social justice act activists and especially women, black women social justice activists who were also atheists. I noticed that they were, it seemed to me, pressuring a lot of the secular organizations and the secular humanist organizations and not just the Freedom From Religion Foundation but also the American Humanist Association, that they were pressuring them to feature them um, and they were using the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale as an opportunity to pressure these organizations to feature them. And I'll do a separate video about the American Humanist Association and the one of the senior leaders, Jennifer Barty, who's also the editor of the Humanist magazine. She basically established a cottage industry in 2018 and 2019 to destroy me, to destroy my life, and to profit off of the destruction of my life and the endangerment of my life and lifelong human and civil rights, academic and legal careers. And I will do a separate video about them. But a lot of these same activists, including and in particular, Sigivu Hutchinson and Mandisa Thomas, were taking advantage of this opportunity and exploiting this opportunity and exploiting the destruction of an innocent civil rights activist life, my life, to force, to compel, to coerce these secular organizations and secular humanist organizations to feature them. Um, there was a huge cover 
with all of them on it for the American Humanist Association, but I'll discuss that separately. So anyway, they didn't just do this at the American Humanist Association, but they also did this at the Freedom From Religion Foundation. And after the Living or Napping While Black hate crime hoax at Yale, and the subsequent global vilification and defamation campaign against me, I also noticed that the Freedom From Religion Foundation was also working and establishing programs, various programs, with these um, woke intersectional feminists, and they were featuring them in various respects um, on their podcast and Free Thought Today, et cetera, et cetera. And I mean, I didn't, I wasn't really surprised and I didn't really blame them for doing that. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing in and of itself. I think it's, I think it's a great thing that they were trying to feature, you know, atheists, agnostics, secularists, free thinkers, skeptics, rationalists of color, I don't think that that's bad in and of itself, but I do think that these women in particular, such as and especially Sikivu Hutchinson and Mendisa Thomas, were exploiting this opportunity, exploiting the destruction of an innocent civil rights activist life, my life, to self-aggrandize and to elevate themselves and to coerce these organizations into featuring them by saying, oh, look, you were lo a longtime affiliate of this obvious racist, you know, and so they, you know, are just harping on that to compel these organizations to feature them and to elevate themselves. And so I didn't, I didn't really say anything about it or, or think too many bad things about the Freedom From Religion Foundation because they were doing this, I understood, but I was hurt, I was hurt, and I did feel betrayed because they weren't standing up for me publicly. And then recently I saw that the Freedom From Religion Foundation, I have been speaking out about how I feel like they've been, they betrayed me. I feel like they betrayed me. And then very recently, and I just imagine that this must be in response to me speaking out publicly publicly about how I feel betrayed by them but um, I noticed that they are giving an award a heroine of the year award to Sikivu Hutchinson at their upcoming convention national convention for the freedom from religion foundation and that is so just dis completely disgusting she spent pretty much all of 2018 and 2019 trying to drive me to suicide, trying to destroy my life and lifelong human and civil rights careers, academic and legal careers for her own benefit, for her own personal gain. And she doesn't care if she destroys the living while black movement by pushing race and hate crime hoaxes for moral outrage industry money and gain. She only cares about her elevating herself and she doesn't care if she undermines the black social justice movement to do it and I think it's absolutely disgusting that the Freedom From Religion Foundation is giving her an award for having done this for having destroyed the life of an innocent civil rights activist for having participated in destroying the living while black movement for having participated in undermining the black social justice movement and I just have to say that the Freedom From Religion Foundation I now consider them just like the American Humanist Association. I'll do a separate video about them, but I consider them to be completely morally bankrupt and corrupt, and you should not support them. Do not support them. Do not be a member of the Freedom From Religion Foundation. Do not donate to them. Do not support them. They are morally bankrupt. They only care about moral outrage industry money and gain, and you need to abandon them. Please abandon them. And it really, they broke my heart. I don't wanna cry, I don't wanna cry. 
but they broke my heart. I thought of them as family. I loved them like family. I devoted so much of my time and energy and effort to them, and I loved them like family. And they betrayed me for a few dollars, for a few dollars. And they don't care. They don't care if they destroy the Living Well Black movement. They don't care if they destroy the U.S. Black Social Justice Movement. They don't care if they destroy my life, someone whom I thought they considered as a family member. I certainly felt that way about them. Anyway, I think I'm going to start crying, so I think I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> um, I love you all so much. Please support me as I continue to fight for justice. And we have to stop the woke intersectional feminists from taking over the secular humanist movement and the atheist movement and the free thinking movement and the skeptical movement. We have to stop them from destroying those movements. They're destroying those movements. So please help me and support me as I continue to fight for justice and to stop the moral outrage industry from getting one more innocent person killed. And my PayPal me and GoFundMe links will be below. I love you all so much. Okay.